again with another exciting video. Here to talk to you guys today about pimping out your lovers with the Intranquil Spirit. Here we go. Again, I'm taking that you guys have watched all my previous videos about bringing your lovers back with the Intranquil Spirit. You know, again, for those of you who don't know about the Intranquil Spirit, the Intranquil Spirit is basically many spirits or any spirit who has died in a misfortunate way. So, today, I want to talk to you about the protocols of what you do when your lover comes back. See, there's many, there's a few things, I'm not going to say many, there's a few important things that you must do when your lover comes back via the tranquil spirit. One, you have to supply, you have to supply comfort, nurturing. You have to nurture the individual because now they're coming back to you broken. They don't have anything. You know, they need your assistance. Their life is falling apart. So just like those movies where you see the guys, these funny movies about funerals, guys going to hit on women at funerals because they know that they're very vulnerable. Well, it's the same situation when you're working with the Intranquil Spirit because the person's in an unfortunate situation. Nobody's there to help them. You're the only one there that can pick them up. So in this state, you have to keep them on a leash. You don't do everything for them. You do just enough for them to be dependent on you. This client calls me up. He says to me, uh, you know, all right, well, yeah, man, you know, this girl, uh, you know, right now her boyfriend, you know, she, you know, basically she left out of town with this guy, whatsoever. Now the guy can't supply for her. The guy, the, you know, the chick doesn't have nothing. So basically she's dependent on my client. My client was wondering, should he pay her rent, you know, rent off? I said, no. Tell her you can give her half because you're in a, Tough situation right now is the last minute call. Why? See, what person would say, why would you give her any money? See, the thing is, you don't want to lose the person. You want to have the person on a leash. So therefore, if you give them half, that person is still dependent on you. They know that you can, you know, you can, you can provide. So in situations like that, you have to nurture the person. Give them a little bit. So I had another client. A couple of weeks ago, she approached me. She's like, you know, this guy, his car broke down. You know, he doesn't have a job anymore. You know, this and that. So basically, she gave him a couple of dollars to hold him through whatsoever. So the guy's like, oh, my God, nobody's ever done this for me in my life. You know, so in, a, in that vulnerable situation, you have to seize the opportunity. You know, you have to ingrain into that individual's mind that you're the one that will always be there for that individual. While everyone left, their girlfriends left, their boyfriends left, you know, their friends left, you know, their family left. You're the only one that's there to provide for them. So basically, you have to take the initiative to basically keep that person, you know, comfort, you know, giving that nurturing that they need at that moment that they're getting from nowhere else. The goal of this is to basically get you in a place where a person thinks that you're the greatest person in the world. You know, you did something for them that no one else has ever done for them. That's the objective. And this right here is a short video, and it's very effective. The means that I'm offering you guys today is very effective because you won't get it anywhere else. Who's, that, who's actually making extensive videos about the Intranquil Spirit? Many people wish that they can work with the Intranquil Spirit or Intranquil Spirits. You know? Where are you getting this information? There's only one guy on YouTube that's actually talking about this shit. 